Hello everybody. I hope everybody had a great holiday and we are back with Snowflake Stamp. So what we need for this are just some simple pipe cleaners and you can make your snowflake as big as you'd like and the pipe cleaners can be any color and any size. So the first thing I'm going to do is just twist together one snowflake or one pipe cleaner and then I'm going to bend another one around it. And you can use your imagination to make the snowflake because you know all snowflakes are unique and they all can look a little bit different. So here's the beginning of our snowflake. Kind of make a cross and then you can go again. And kind of twist it around. And then if you want to get a little bit more fancy with it, you can twist even more smaller parts on it. Like little edges. You can kind of see how I'm twisting around the ones that I already made. Ah! Sometimes it gets away from you a little bit. And the good thing is you can always kind of bend it and make it what you need it to be. So I have my snowflake. But now I want to make a little handle for it. And I see its little arms are a little bit looser than I'd like it to be. So I'm going to tighten it around a little bit. Kind of bend it till it's what I want it to look like. And I'm going to make a little handle. Kind of flatten it out. my handle all with pipe cleaner and paint bend this in just a little bit and then I have my paint right here you can choose any color but I wanted a snow light color so I choose a light I chose a light blue so I'm going to pour a little bit more in there and let's see what happens. You're going to try to make it as flat as possible. And I have some paint brushes here to help me get the paint on the snowflake. So I'm going to dip it down in there ah, with my hands and it's okay. If you get a little bit of paint on yourself, just try not to get it on your clothes. And what I'm doing is I'm painting this snowflake stamp so at least it should have some paint on it when I go to stamp it on the paper. Let's see. All right. And I'm going to push it down with the other side of my paintbrush. it down the best you can. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Ah! <laughs> and you made a snowflake. Let's see if we can make another one real quick because that one was a little bit messy. Let's see if we can make a more simple snowflake. I'm going to put this guy over here. I'm going to make a simple snowflake. I'm going to start off like this, 
have one piece that's been twisted and I'm gonna go around this one ah, kind of put him in the middle down just a little bit there we go let's see here and there we go and let's do one more let's see if we can get this a little better looking for this one estimate where he needs to be and start twisting the edges. Let's flatten him out. See, it's Snowflake, yay. So let's see if we can get him covered in paint. And this, I'm gonna move over here, try not to make a mess. Put some more paint in here. There we go. Let's see. I can spread him all out. Dip him in there. Now let's see. Oh, it looks like I missed one part, so I'm going to dip some in there. Kind of check your snowflake out. Push him down. Maybe stamp him a little bit better. There we go. And there's your pretty snowflake. And you can also attach little pieces around if you'd like and make them more complicated or use different colors. So, thank you so much for tuning in today. We have made our snowflake stamps out of pipe cleaners and paint. So, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.